أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ثم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه الأخيار أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I welcome you all once again to this episode episode 22 of the Golden World series Inshallah in this episode we are looking at two sets of poems first one from Abul Qasim al-Shabi a very popular poem and then from the most popular one of the most popular poets Ahmed Abu Tayyib al-Mutanabbi uh, Mutanabbi popularly known as Mutanabbi <coughs> he is 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 quite quite very popular and he's a maestro in Arabic poem uh, Arabic poetry okay so let's go straight to the point and pick the first one basically what we are doing today is about being ambitious and not always laying low living a base life you have to struggle for her height okay so he says abul qasim al-shabi says if the shaab yawman arad al-haya fala budda an yastajib al-qadr he says if the shaab a shaab is a nation a group of people so he says if the shaab yawman arad al-haya if the nation or the group one day wants to leave if they want to revive this is a kind of rhetorical saying to mean that when you lay when you live a base life you are not really living now when you seek for higher heights and you achieve it that is when you you are really living you 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 struggle for higher heights so he says is a shaab yawman arad al hayat if the youth or the nation wants once wake up and say they want to leave fala budda an yastajib al qadr then this nation definitely must accept or must welcome destiny and you have to face it how it is and he says wala budda lil layli an yanjali and of course the darkness of the night must split open for light to come through so it's it's just so in how you must push hard to make sure that the night leaves and then brightness takes over he says wala budda lil qaidi an yankasar and definitely the chains the shackles of life must break they showing the vim the enthusiasm that when you want life you should have and he says wa man la yuhibbu su'ud al jibal su'ud is the verb now from sa'ada yasadu su'udan i climbing he says wa man la yuhibbu su'ud al jibal and whoever does not love to climb mountains that is you don't like hardships you don't like anything challenging ya'ishu abada dahri bayna al-hufar this person will live forever in holes if you in pit if you don't want to hit higher heights struggle and hit higher heights you always live low abada <coughs> dahr is all across time forever and hufar is the plural of hufra that is a pit or a hole and he says wa qalat li al ard lamma sa'altu says the earth told me when i asked aya um he calls the earth mother as everybody mostly referred to says aya um oh mother hal takrahin al bashar do you hate mankind yani he looks at life and whatever is happening in life and he 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 seen that people are living a low life and people are not really getting it at all some people are really struggling so he had to question the earth do you hate mankind why is it that you make people suffer and then the earth told him ubariku fin nasi ahla tumu ubariku fin nasi ahla tumu i bless among people those who are ambitious tumu is ambition those ahla tumu those who are ambitious he says ubariku fin nasi ahla tumu I bless those who have ambitions among people. Wa man yastalizu ruqub al khatar and whoever takes as something sweet ruqub al khatar ruqub is riding al khatar is danger yani riding danger whoever finds it sweet to ride on dangers this is just a symbolism it says whoever likes to take on challenging affairs that is what it means 
Yastalizu from Istalazza. Istalazza means to find something sweet. Ayo. So he says, Wa'al'anu. I bless this group of people who like hardship, who like to face it. I bless them who have ambitions, who, are, who have ambitions. I, the earth, I bless them. And he says, Wa'al'anu. Man la yumashi zamana. And I curse those who do not move with time. Arabs will say, Mutakhalif. And in aggressive, somebody, life is moving ahead, people are learning and we are leaving things, a lot of archaic things behind. That is when people are hooking up to it. Somebody is now finding it latest. These people who do not match with time, the earth is saying that, O Al Anu, Man La Yumashi Zaman. And I curse those who do not match the era. Wa Yakna Ubil Aishi, and is satisfied with the living. Aish al Hajar. The living of stone, the life of a stone. He, he is satisfied with living the life of a stone. What is Aisha al Hajar here? That is a static life, a life that is not dynamic, it does not get updated. Anybody who lives this life, the earth is saying here that it curses you. And the earth blesses those who are ambitious and takes up to challenges. Okay, so that is what Abdul Qasim Shabi tells us. This, what I've done is the poem is a long poem. I just picked some lines of relevance to our topic. I selected it. Okay. He says, إِذَا الشَّعْبُ يَوْمًا أَرَادَ الْحَيَاةِ فَلَا بُدَّ أَنْ يَسْتَجِيبَ الْقَدْرِ وَلَا بُدَّ لِلَّيْلِ أَنْ يَنْجَلِي وَلَا بُدَّ لِلْقَيْدِ أَنْ يَنْكَسَرِ وَمَنْ لَا يُحِبُّ صُعُودَ الْجِبَالِ يَعِشْ عَبَدَ الدَّهْرِ بَيْنَ الْحُفَرِ وقالت لي الأرض لما سألت أيا أم هل تقرهين البشر أبارك في الناس أهل التموح ومن يستلذ رقوب الخطر وألعن من لا يماشي الزمان ويقنع بالعيش عيش الحجر Okay We go to the second one which is the poem of المتنبي Somebody will say, why not Mutanabi first? It is a disrespect to bring Mutanabi second. This is actually an honor to put Mutanabi second. He is an amazing poet. You can search on him from here. He's, one of his popular lines is, If you should see that the Canaan tooth of the lion is wild open, or is open like that, if you see the tooth outside, do not be thinking that the lion is smiling. That is one of his sweet lines that he he's very popular. You can check him out. So he says this about anybody who is taking on a venture. How you should take it up. If you are supposed to man up, man up. He says, Ida Gamarta, Ida Gamarta, fi sharafin marumin. Gamara is the verb is the verb from Mogamara. That is taking on a venture. Gamara is to venture into something, something risky, then you venture in. That is what we call gamara. says, إِذَا غَامَرْتَ فِي شَرَفٍ مَرُومٍ If you venture into seeking an honor, a required honor, malu marum, ayrama yarumu marum, something that is required, matlub yani, matlub. It says, إِذَا غَامَرْتَ فِي شَرَفٍ مَرُومٍ If you should venture into seeking an honor that is required, if you should venture into an honor that is required, what should you do? Then he says, Fala takna bima nujum. Never be satisfied with anything below the sun, below the stars. Yani, if you should aim for honor, aim for the stars and above it. A very strong line. marumin, fala takna bima nujum. bima na nujum. Okay. He says, فَتَعْمُ الْمَوْتِ فِي أَمْرٍ صَغِيرٍ The taste of death in a light issue, in anything, nothing really important. The taste of death in such issues. كَتَعْمِ الْمَوْتِ فِي أَمْرٍ عَظِيمٍ It is just like the way you taste death when you are, you are dying for a bigger cause. If you should die in an accident, same, same if you are lying in the room and you die, they, all of them is death. But طعم, the kalima طعم here means taste. I thought the way it feels. Okay. And then he says, Satabki Shajwaha Farasi wa Muhri. Sofa ihu 
demuha ma ul jasumi. What he is doing here, this particular line kind of is almost out of the course. He stepped out to tell you how he gets wild if he's supposed to stand for his honor. What he does is that we'll do a, lot, a little bit of tahlil in this line. Satabki shajwaha. Shajwa, a shaju is al huzn. And then he says, Satabki shajwaha farasi wa muhri sofa'ihu. Now, sofa'ihu in the ajzil bayt, the second part of the verse, the sofa'ihu is the fa'il of the tabki. And shajwaha, the ha refers to sofa'ihu. Sofa'ihu means, is the plural of sofiha. And sofiha is a sheet of metal. And also, it refers to safe, sword. What is this sentence saying? Satabqi sofa'ihu. Or satabqi sofa'ihu. The swords will cry. Shajwaha ay huznaha. It's sadness. Satabqi sofa'ihu. Shajwaha ala farasi wa muhri. Dam'uha ma'ul jasumi. What will happen? He is saying that my swords will cry over my, lo my loss of my faras. Faras is a horse and then muhr is a colt, C-O-L-T. He's, he's saying that anyone who kills his horse and his colt, his sword will cry with the blood of the person that is in seeking revenge that is how tough you go the tears of the sword will be the blood of anyone who takes or who kills or harms his faras and his mohr the words we need here shaju is sadness huzn and when we say shajahu al amru shajahu al amru the situation has made him sad so satabki shajwaha farasi wa muhri Aisha tabki sofa'ihi Aisha tabki sofa'ihi Huznan Ala fakdi farasi wa muhri Wa damuha Ma'ul jasumi Ma'ul jasumi here is used to represent A lot of blood So he's saying that If anyone should harm my horse Or my colt Then my sword will cry By the tears of my sword My sword will be the plenty A lot of blood from those who harm my horse. Then he says, Kurina Nara. This word that he's talking about, the Sofiha, he's saying about them that Kurina Nara. The swords have been put into fire. Not really the sword, but then the, uh, the steel used in making the sword. The steel used in making the sword are put into fire. He's picturing for us how the sword is made. Saying that this, the steel is put into fire. Kurina Nara. Kurina can be picked from Kira. And Kira is what you use to host your guests. Any preparation you do to host your guests is Kira. In Alborda, he has a line. I think the next, the second, the second chapter in Alborda, the poem of the cloak. He has Oma Adtu min al fi'il al jamili Kira. Min daifin alamma birasi gayra muhtasami. Something like that. He has a line like that. Kera is what you use to welcome your guests with. So it can Kurina Nara. I the fire has been used as a tool of hospitality for his sword. Basically, what he's saying is that his sword, the steel to make his sword has been put into fire. And then the steel grew or got established in the fire. And he says, Kema al Adara just as Adara is the plural of Adra, and Adrau is virgin, a pure maiden. It says, al Adara fin the imi. Just like pure maidens live in bliss. My this my sword was in the fire, turning and tossing, just like it is in a bliss. Wafarakna sayaqila mukhlasatun mukhlasatin. And this was they left. Farakna, they left the Sayaqila. Sayaqila is the plural of Sayqal. And Sayqal is the one who finally polishes the sword. 
makes the final polishes. He says his sword left the soyaqila. It left those polishes. Mukhlasatun, pure. They've made it very pure, very sharp. That's what he means here. Wa idiha. And the hands of these people who are doing the final polishes, kathira tul kulumi. And kulumi is the plural of, I think it's kelmi or something like that. Injury. Juruh. Juruh. So kathira tul kulumi, that is those who did the final polishes due to the sharpness of the sword, they had a lot of injuries on their hands. They were not even safe. And he says, yaral jubana. Oh, here he used it to express if you should touch his horse and his colt or his colt, this is the kind of sword he is coming at you with. And he's coming in full vagor, full vim. That is just what he cut this portion to explain. And he says, Yara al jubana u anna al ajza aklun. The jubana, that is a plural of jabin. Kawas. The kawas, they see ajz, inability, as sens sensitive, being sensible. Yani he is coward, he's inside, there is a fight. Instead of stepping out to solve the fight, or instead of making sure things are okay in the community, he is thinking that let me stay in my room. And the coward is thinking that this inability of his, ajz means inability. That is why we call old woman ajuz. Ajuz, that is she is weak. Okay, and the old man is not a Jew. The old man is Sheikh. And old woman is a Jew. So he says, Yer al Jubanao, the cows, they see an al Ajza Aklum, that inability is some being sensible, some wise sense, Yani. Watil Kehadi atu Tobi el Emi. And he's saying that, and that thinking of this is a Hadi a deception. Deception of what? at al-la'imi. at al-la'imi. And when we say at we mean a nature, characteristic, attitude. So it's, this thought of this is a hadi atun from a tabi al-la'imi. From a, an accursed character, an accursed attitude. So if you are there and you are coward and you are feeling your cowardness and staying indoors and not talking about issues, sensitive issues, a sense he is telling you that this is a deception from a, an accursed personality and he says well, every braveness well, every braveness every kind of braveness in a person suffices the person if you are brave if you are brave it suffices you from everything and he says but it is not like the braveness in the sensible person. In somebody who is wise and is brave at the same time, there is nothing like it. And he says, After speaking, then he says, There are a lot of people who attack, who dig holes in statements that are true. That is their fine fault. Fi kaulin sahihin in a right statement, then they will be finding fault in it. And he says, wa afatuhu min al fahmi sakimi. But then the fault is that is from the uh, sick understanding. As sakim means sick. And he says, wa afatuhu afa is a flaw, and the flaw is from the sick understanding. It is not the statement. As people attack Sahih Buhari attack the Quran and all that. It is not those books that have the problem. It is from the weak understanding of people. Okay, in the light of this, I picked up some a, a bait from somewhere. And first of all, once there, there were these two people, Abba Tamam, Abu Tamam and Abu Sa'id. And Abu Sa'id told Abba Ta, Abu Tamam was speaking, but it wasn't understandable. So Abba Sa'id told him, Ya Abba Tamam, why don't you speak what will be understood? Then Abu Tamam said, Ya Abba Sa'id, Why won't what I am saying be understood? You are thinking that the fault is from me because I'm speaking maybe in a higher language. Why don't you understand? Why don't you check yourself? That is what he said. And again, there is a bait that says, 
والنجم تستصغر تستصغر الابصار صورته دستا والنجم دستا تستصغر الابصار الابصار is sight the eyes or the sight finds the star to be small it starts got to find something to be small to consider something to be small the eyes find it to be small then he says wadhambu litarfi la lin najmi fi shigari and the the thumb the floor or the sin is litarf a tarf is sight also the floor is from the eyes la lin najmi it's not for the star the star is big in its space but the sight can't have captured the whole sight and he says la lin najmi fi shigari the fault is not of the star in terms of the smallness the star is not that small as we said okay so there, there are people that you may be saying something true but because they have a problem in, within themselves maybe they hate you they have a problem with you then they will like to definitely find fault with what you are saying yeah that is what he is expressing here he says wa kam min aibin qawlan sahihan wa afatuhu min al fahm al saqimi a lot of people find fault with some correct statement and the problem is that they have a bad understanding or sick understanding and lastly he says walakin ta'khuz al adhan minhu ala qadr al qara'ih wal ulum but when something is said ta'khuz al adhan minhu the ears take from it ala qadr al qara'ih wal ulum al qara'ih is the plural of qariha and qariha is the first water that comes out when a, a well is dug and it is used for somebody's innate attitude there are some attitudes that your life is based upon the the, the basic attitude the fundamental attitudes that you have these are your prowess these are your powers he's saying that when something is said the ears takes from it pair the strength of your innate attitude well ulumi and your knowledge So what he has said, he completed with it. Maybe he has said that Gamarta fi sharaf al marum in fala taqna bima dun al nujum. Somebody may be thinking and saying this is wrong, this is right. At the end of the day, he responded you within the last line. So when you are seeking for anything higher, as we say, the the sky is not the limit. Some will say the sky is your limit. The sky is the starting point. That is where we start hitting from. So I I, I guess you've seen a word or two here. Okay, let me just read about Tayyib's own two. He says, "إذا غامرت في شرف المروم فلا تقنع بما دون النجوم فطعم الموت في أمر صغير كطعم الموت في أمر عظيم ستبقي شجوها فرسي ومهري صفائح دمعها ماء الجصوب كرين النار ثم نشأنا فيها كما نشأ العذارى في النعيم." وفارقنا السياقل مخلصات وايديها كثيرات القلوم يرى الجبناء ان العجز عقل وتلك خديعه الطبع اللئيم وكل شجاعه في في المرء تغني ولا مثل الشجاعه في الحكيم وكم من عيب قولا صحيحا وافته في الفهم السقيم ولكن تاخذ الاذان منه ala qadr al qara ala qadr al qara'ih wal ulum this is what our tayyib also has for us i guess we've learned a lot here inshallah um this lesson i was actually posted i did it and posted it yesterday but i wasn't feeling so well so there was there were some bit of flaws i wasn't able to really express the explanation i wanted to so i pulled it down so if it caused any inconvenience i apologize i hope uh, focus is knowledge and we hope to give out the best Um, and then we hope you also learn from it okay so we end this episode here inshallah till we meet again in episode 23 have a very good time have a blessed ramadan may we all be blessed with the night of qadr the night of decree ramadan mubarak assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh